In this video, we will study the pathological features in frontotemporal lobe degeneration. In frontotemporal lobe degeneration, as the name implies, there is atrophy of frontal lobes as well as temporal lobes. So, on gross specimen, you will see atrophy of frontal and temporal lobes. Secondly, the microscopic features of this disease are characterized by neuronal loss in frontal and temporal lobes. And as neurons are being lost, so to repair them, there is formation of glial tissue or fibrous tissue that we call as gliosis. So you see neuronal loss and gliosis. Now additionally, as most cases of frontotemporal lobe degeneration are caused by tau protein, so in those cases of frontotemporal lobe degeneration that are dependent on tau protein, you will see deposits of tau protein as basophilic neurofibrillary tangles in the cytoplasm. You know that we study these neurofibrillary tangles in Alzheimer's disease also, but these can be present also in frontotemporal lobe degeneration. Secondly, some cases of frontotemporal lobe degeneration are dependent on a protein TDP43. In that cases, there will be positive immunohistochemical staining for protein TDP43. And these TDP43 inclusions will be visible in the cytoplasm of cell. So let's revise the pathological features in frontotemporal lobe degeneration that there are neuronal loss and gliosis. There is basophilic neurofibrillary tangles in frontotemporal lobe degeneration caused by tau protein. And there is TDP43 inclusions in cytoplasm in frontotemporal lobe degeneration caused by TDP43. So this concludes the pathological features in frontotemporal lobe degeneration.